Welcome to our lecture online. If we're going to use the normal distribution to calculate the probability of outcome for a particular outcome in a binomial distribution or binomial probability distribution, we want to make sure that the number of trials is large enough. There's actually a rule that we can follow. And the rule says that the normal distribution provides a good approximation because it's not exactly the same, but a good approximation to a binomial probability distribution when the product of the number of trials times the probability of success is greater than 5 or equal to 5, and that the number of outcomes or the number of trials times 1 minus the probability of success, which is essentially the probability of failure, also must be greater than 5. And it's an and condition. Both of these conditions must be true. So in the previous example, we had n equals 14, the probability of success being 0.5. So the product ended up being 7, which is greater than 5. And you saw how close the two results were. It was 6.11% versus like 6.06%. So they were really close, even when that product was 7. Imagine when the product is 20 or 30 or 50, they will be very, very close. And it's a really good approximation at that time. So, and also, when n becomes large, using the calculations for the binomial probability equations are pretty tough or pretty hard, and it's a lot easier then to use the normal distribution. So, you always want to make sure that your probability of getting the correct values or getting a close to correct value can only be such that these two conditions are satisfied. And that's what we mean by the approximation rule, so that you know, yes, I can use this approximation, it'll be close enough for a good measure. And that is how it's done. Is that a wrap for today? All right.